Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This project is about QR code scanner or QR reader designed using ESP32 CAM module and OpenCV. We'll develop a device using the ESP32 camera module and write some Python program using Python libraries. Using this device, we can scan QR codes. We could have also used some QR scanner sensor, but the main purpose of this project is to implement using the ESP32 CAM module. This will reduce the overall price of the project. QR codes have now become part of our everyday lives as we use them almost everywhere, say it for payment or reaching a website or a link. Also, people add them to their resume to share the link to their social profile. Not just personally, but large tracking and shipping companies use them to differentiate their products. We'll learn more about all this in this video. But now, without getting any delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good? Then use the services of Next PCB. You can select the board size, any shoulder color marks that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com, then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cardboard file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. This is an ESP32 based camera module developed by AI Thinker. The controller is based on a 32 bit CPU and has a combined Wi Fi plus Bluetooth or BLE chip. This is the OB3640 camera for photography, video or any other image processing application. The board also supports an SD card of up to 4 GB which can be used to store images and video. The board doesn't have an onboard programmer. So in order to program this board, you can use any type of USB to TTL module. Please follow the connection diagram for programming and use the programming method and different modes of operation has been explained in earlier videos. Now. Let us understand how QR code works. This is an overview of QR code. First, we need to understand what white zone is. So, here we are having a QR code. There are white spaces inside the QR code which are called as quiet zone. After that, we also have position blocks. These are 1, 2 and 3. These are placed in every QR code. These blocks will let us know about the orientation. After that, the alignment of the QR code is also understood by these blocks as we can see here. These dotted lines are the timings which let us know at what spaces the blocks are present. As you can see, a black box is in the corner. This will let us know that this is the specific data range. So, with the help of position, alignment and timing data, the computer program will be able to divide the whole QR code into small boxes as in this image. So, all these boxes determine how much amount of data is in the QR code. For example, from 1 to 8 bit, it explains 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 or 128 bytes of data. So, these are represented in binary. The binary representation can tell us how much information does our QR code carries. For example, in this Wikipedia page, Different types of QR codes are given. This, this is version 1 which contains a very small amount of data. As the version increases, the density of the QR code also increases. For example, this QR code carries 1 to 6 9 characters and this could be carrying double of it that is almost around 2500 characters. Now let us understand how we will be able to decode a QR code. To decode a QR code, we will be using a Python library. The Python library includes OpenCV and PGBAR library. The PYZBAR that is PGBAR library is widely used for detecting QR codes. You need to install Python on your computer which is the main requirement for this project. Now let's move to the coding part. At ESP32 CAM, we will be using the same code that we have used in earlier videos. This is the example code from the library by your Sunny. I will just modify this code first. Enter the Wi-Fi SSID and password here. Rest, everything will be the same. From tools, 
Select the ESP32 Ruber module and also select the COM port. Then hit the upload button to upload the code. After uploading the code, remove the IO0 jumper and press the reset button. So, camera OK message will appear along with the IP address of the ESP32. Copy this IP address as well as this is required in the Python code. Moving to the Python script, here we are using CB2 library. Then a NumPy. As discussed earlier, we are using a PizBar library as well. The URL lib request is something that comes inbuilt with the Python. Now go to your folder search where the Python code is located. Open your command prompt here. Then type here pip install numpy. This is already installed in my system. To install OpenCV, type pip install OpenCV dash Python. So this is also installed in my system. Then install pitchbar using the command pip install pyz bar. So all the library has been successfully installed. After installing all this library, get back to your code. We'll try to understand how the code works. So here we need to note that what fonts we need to display on the screen. Here is the URL that we copied from the Arduino serial monitor. And this is how we are extracting the frames from ESP32 cam. Then using this line, we'll try to decode what the QR code is using the library function of PizBar. Then we decode the data and print it on the screen. Now save the code and run it. So as you can see, the live video is being transmitted. Now you can see my hands are visible here. This is how I set up my ESP32 cam. Here I am having the flashlight and here I have set up external battery. So this device is totally wireless. If I move my hand here, I can see that on computer screen. So let's begin the testing part as well. I will show some QR codes from my mobile phone. This is the first one. It has been detected as wikipedia.org. I'll try the second one. So again, it has been printed here on the monitor. Let me try something else. So it has shown some website. Again, a similar QR code uh, showed the same website. Even this is showing some hobby spot website. Now, this is the complex QR code, even it has detected some large data. This contains more information and data is printed here. So you can try the other versions of QR code and print it on the screen like this. You can use this device to make other devices that can be used in multipurpose application. All the information related to this project can be found in the How to Electronics website article. It contains the schematic and way of programming the ESP32 camera module. The complete Python code can also be copied. Alright, if you need anything else, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.